Okay, so uh, after all of these really difficult and often heart-rending topics, I have a happy one. Okay. Well, I like going in a good direction. Here in Austin, we have streets, or we did anyway, oh, yeah. called things like Robert E. Lee Street and and Jeff Davis Road, and 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 um, they've been vandalized for some time. Which um, vandalism is, you know, not okay. But in this case, I'm just not terribly against it. But uh, um, so the Austin City Council recently voted to change the names of these two streets. And I understand there are more, but I don't have um, the information on Yeah, those are the two big ones. Those are the two biggies. And who they're changing them to is awesome. I was I was really afraid that they were going to choose two more famous white men. <laughs> Rick Perry Road. <laughs> yeah, Lordy. Oh my gosh. And and but but they didn't. Uh, they renamed Robert E. Lee Road to be Azzy Morton Road, which is awesome. She was born in Lockhart, Texas, and she's the only African American woman to serve as the U.S. Treasurer. She served under Jimmy Carter. And the uh, she lived from 1936 to 2003. So, and she did a bunch of other things. She was an educator, and um, I had the article, but my computer just died. And so, uh, yay, yay for progress. And then the other one is Jeff Davis Road, which is uh, near me. And the reason I knew it had changed is because my husband. Uh, texted me and said, they changed the name. Well, we and passed I, that road on the way here. Right. Yeah, yeah. And um, they changed it to William Holland, who was actually born into slavery in 1840. And, uh, oh, golly, the, he had a big, long thing. I better see if I can get this up on my my thing here because there was some important stuff here. Um, hang on. I'm kind of curious when they change a road name, just in general. Like, does everybody then have to update their yeah. address everywhere? I, I when I was googling it, uh, I put in the new name William Holland Avenue, and all all that came up were MLS listings for that street. Now it's been totally renamed, and Zillow everything was. William well, I guess you no. Know, what I'm saying is, it's like, does, if if I live on that street, my driver's license, I have to go get a new driver's license, or do I have huh. to go get like my? Do I have to like? I, I would assume that the municipal utility companies would be automatically alerted right. of a, of a right. city street. Do name. they replace your license without charging you a fee? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I would think they would have to. Yeah. But yeah. Anyhow, I that's hope. a good question. <laughs> uh, yeah, good question. So, uh, let's see. Born into slavery in 1840, after his father, uh, a white man, purchased his freedom, Holland fought in the Union Army and later taught in Travis County schools. He served as Texas state representative, county commissioner, and played a crucial role in establishing the Deaf, Dumb, and Blind Institute for Colored Youth in 1887, located on Bull Creek Road between 38th and 45th Streets. He later served as the institute's superintendent. Uh, so just all sorts of marvelous. I am thrilled that they chose such important people. And in your face, Robert <laughs> E. Lee and Jeff Davis. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I've heard there are other names that need to go, too. I can't wait till they go. Yeah, in fact, I saw uh, one of the women who lived on, I think it was Jeff Davis, and she was saying that she has little children, and she's like, they're going to reach an age where they start asking about the name of the street, and mm -hmm. I don't want to have to tell them that it's, you know, somebody who <laughs> fought for slavery and that led the... Led the uh, the rebellion, basically, <laughs> as the president of the of the new slave state. <laughs> Yay! Know? Oh God! Yeah. Oh God! Yep. Celebrating such things. So there's some happy stuff. That 